one of the, the, the other things I'd encourage students to do would be to get involved with the, the relevant professional society. Um, I started off in chemistry, so I, I had a, an extensive involvement with the Royal Society of Chemistry, um, and actually ended up chairing the, the radiochemistry group of the RSC. Uh, one of the things as a group we were always keen to do was to involve graduates to get them interested in, in careers uh, in, within chemistry, rather than just finishing their chemistry course and, and going off to, to do accountancy or something like that perhaps, um, which a, a lot of uh, scientists and, and engineers do. Uh, there are some, some great opportunities in the industry now. There's, There's nothing better than doing a job and know that you've done it well. Apart from, of course, sitting there and watch someone else do it well for you, but then that's another story which unfortunately comes with a hefty price tag. But getting back to the original point, the good days in our working lives are the ones we remember most, and the ones that keep the reality of 9 to 5 for the next 50 years at the back of our heads, along with that embarrassing moment when you co-starred with a litre of vodka and a pavement. So what have the career highlights been so far for our interviewees, and what's the best thing about the jobs that they do? The best thing about my job is definitely the autonomy that I have to decide um, what work I do um, and what most interests me during the day. I can then take that project further. Um, I can become involved in uh, lots of different aspects of the work, so both experimental side, theoretical side, numerical modelling. So there's always opportunities to become in, involved in different projects that are going on on site. The thing about my job is that um, I get to work with a good bunch of people, a good team, um, we interact well together, that doesn't mean there isn't room for improvement, but it is a really good team. And that we're running a, uh, a business that is growing, it's manufacturing which is, uh, which is important I think because it's in the minority at the moment. And um, as we're growing we're becoming more successful, so it's a, it's a great, great job for me. I think what I enjoy most about my job is it's very broad based, uh, I get to work both with some great technical people but also uh, a team that are really focused on the marketing and selling of the products that the technical team are making. So it gives me a real broad range of, uh, of interactions day on day. The aspects of my career that I've really enjoyed have actually been working um, with a wide range of people who have great enthusiasm for their subject, they, many of them have a, a really profound knowledge of their subject uh, and through working with them then exploring new fields, new ideas, learning more about, uh, about the universe we live in and, and swapping ideas with a, with a right wide range of people, that's what I find particularly rewarding. It's fantastic leading a quality organisation like this, it really is. Um, I'd, I'd qualify by that. Not everything's fun. We have we have challenging things as well, uh, but the you know, the achievement of doing things to cost and time are better, seeing customer satisfaction, and doing things safely, it's tremendous. It's great. The best thing about my job is the variety. No two days are the same. I can be spending one day looking completely at operations and production and some of the things that we need to do in that area and the next day I'm in research and development and at the end of the week I'll be looking at sales and marketing. It's fantastic. I never know what day I'm going to come in and meet really. The amount of jobs that require proficiency in scientific disciplines is truly vast and spans the whole spectrum of British business, from the chemical sector to the nuclear industry and beyond. Having gone through the rigmarole of the job seeking process and come out unemployed at the other end, what advice do our interviewees have on embarking on a career in science? In order to, to gain more knowledge about what might be involved, I think it would be very prudent to take um, summer course vacation jobs with, with different industries if you can. That gives you the biggest insight that you can get into that work. Um, unfortunately, it's, it's hard to say specifically because each science, science job is very different, they're all um, completely different so you, can, you can't really take any um, generic description of what your job might involve. So I'd say if there's a career that you're really interested in, try and get some vacation um, experience. Almost all big labs will take graduate students during their summer holidays to give them works experience, so I'd say that's the best course of action. In the chemical industry, I think people have a lot of misconceptions about what we do very often and therefore target the wrong arena. It's very important for potential A-level students looking at what their career for the future might look like to really undertake some sensible research, 
perhaps try and get some exposure to the different environments and see what suits their forte is best really. And you know, that's obviously a huge range of, of industries that they have at their fingertips. But yeah, narrow it down to find the one that's right for you because if you make the right choice, it's a very exciting career.